I have been told you have a fantastic, one-of-a-kind college football story. Is this a true story, Gary oh. Goldman? How did you get into college football? I played one year of high school football and could dunk and catch mm -hmm. a I was just bigger and faster than everybody yeah. in, in the greater Boston area of mm -hmm. football, but I was soft. Like I was, I was soft, and I was a reader, and but but Jack Bicknell, who who, I mean, he he was a a, a a legend, yes, because he had coached Doug Flutie in the Heisman Trophy year. This was a few years after that. He saw something in me, and and he was completely wrong. There was not there was, <laughs> there was nothing to me except that I could excel when people were around five eleven and yes. I was six foot six and two fifty five. And then I got to BC and the tight end ahead of me was Mark Chamura. And oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Okay. He's from he's the Packers. Good. He was yeah. really good. And he was the only one who could run faster and jump higher. So I I was I tested well. I was like a combine superstar. But then when we got on the field, yeah. I would just get the daylights knocked out of me all afternoon long. And then my reps decreased. And before I know it, I was they, they sent me to a therapist. And <laughs> and and because I, I was having my, my first of many breakdowns. And and so the Boston College was very generous and guided me through four years of, of college, college football. But, uh, but how many reps did you get in high school at college football at football? Oh, I played in 10 games. I was a starter, to offense and defense. And, on, and it's in just, high school. there aren't any decisions you have to make other than your route in high school. Yes. And when I got to college, it was like, well, if you see a rolled up corner and and I, I just I, if they're in cover two and I fogged over and I could never I could never read defenses. And so I would turn around and the ball would be in my back from because the, <laughs> the, the quarterback was Glenn Foley, who just had a cannon. Wow! So Glenn, so Glenn Foley was your quarterback, he was and, my, and you uh, were in this. The, we were below the depth chart on on from Mark Jamore. Oh yeah, at yeah, Boston yeah, yeah. College. Yeah. After just years after Flutie had that big moment. Yeah, but but quickly they moved me to offensive line, okay. where I was with uh, Tom Nalen was the was the center. I, I mean, yeah, it's a who's who, wow. and then a who's Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just and nobody no it was a catholic university and it, it's it's just there were no mezuzas on any of the of the uh, they, they knew it was me because i put up it was like ram's blood <laughs> that was the passover yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you would pass glenn foley would pass yes, over yes, you exactly exactly but there were there were no satyrs to be found plenty of communion but no matzah i think we need to move judaism up on this list of Wikipedia <laughs> subject matters. Well, I know my audience. I pander. I pander. No, well, that's your, your, your comedian of note for sure. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.